Hello, comrades, and welcome back to the Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, товарищи. Today we're going to talk some more about Soviet money, and the topic of today's video is things you can purchase using three copics coin. Well, before we start, I would like to add one detail that I missed when I talked about one copic. One copic was also a nickname for the Lada car. The very first model, which was 01, has a nickname Kapeika because it was one. So, and now we will talk about things you could purchase using three copics. The first thing that comes to my mind is kvas. What is kvas, you're going to ask me? Well, kvas is a traditional Slavic fermented beverage which was made from black or regular rye. So somewhat it's a family um, of beers, but it had a very low alcohol content, about uh, 0.5 to 1 percent. So you can call it diet beer. And this is the drink that you could purchase uh, right on the streets. They didn't sell them in bottles in the stores. You can only buy kvass in the summer and these big uh, barrels, uh, it's like a little trailer barrel, and it will be parked uh, all over the streets, and there'll be the lady that sells you kvass, and a small glass, which is about 200 grams, was three kopecks, and the big one was six kopecks. Uh, these days, they started making kvass um, in bottles, and you can purchase them in the stores, and if you're really curious to try it, uh, you can buy it in America in Russian grocery stores, which in every big city, New York, Chicago, LA, or you can purchase it online. Uh, I'm familiar with the company called RussianTable.com, and they sell kvass. It's approximately, I believe, $3 for two liter bottle. So back in the USSR, you could purchase a cup of kvass nice cold refreshing drink in the summer for three copics number two we continue topic of the drinks as you remember we talked about one copic could purchase a soda from the soda machine well three copics that's when you buy a real soda with the lemon or lemonade flavor and the price was three copics number three the tram ticket in USSR there were not many cars, but we had a lot of buses, trolley buses and trams. And also big cities had subway system. So the price of ticket to ride a tram used to be three kopecks. Trolley bus was four kopecks, bus and subway was five kopecks. Later on in the middle of 80s they made the same price for everything and it was five kopecks, but for a long time, riding a tram in the city was three kopecks. Number four, thick notepad consisting of 18 pages was three kopecks. Number five, most newspapers in Soviet Union cost three kopecks. The so-called newspaper Trud, Labor, The Truth, Pravda, Komsomol Truth, and others. Also, newspapers were quite popular um, as toilet paper. We didn't have a toilet paper available in the country, so people had to use what they had handy, so they used newspapers. And I'm now going to tell you one <laughs> kind of a uh, little bit dirty joke. And keep in mind that uh, the most, uh, I won't say popular, but that was the newspaper of uh, the main uh, newspaper in Soviet Union was Pravda, which was uh, uh, published by Communist Party of USSR. So Pravda, which translates as truth. Um, so this is the joke. So the person came to the doctor complaining that he ha he's having a hard time um, using the bathroom, ha having a hard time uh, pooping. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
So doctor decided to inspect his uh, rear. So he asked him to bend over and spread his butt cheeks. And he says, oh my goodness, you have a newspaper jammed in there. So the guy asked him, the truth? Pravda? And doctor answered, no. The Komsomol Pravda. The Komsomol Truth. <laughs> so that's the joke. I hope you found it funny. Number six. Greeting cards. Well, these days nobody mails greeting cards anymore. Everyone uses an email. But for a long time, the greeting cards were purchased for three kopecks. I liked a lot of them in Soviet Union. They were really cute, like these postcards uh, for birthdays. And also there were a lot of cute cards used in pictures of uh, cute animals for New Year. Now in Soviet Union, we didn't really have Christmas. Uh, the main holiday was New Year celebration. And the Russian Orthodox Christmas was after the New Year. And we never, ever, ever celebrated uh, Christmas like here in America before the new year. So number six, green card. Price, three copies. Number seven, the small bread, uh, which you could purchase in any bread store. And it's interesting, I remember that as a kid really well. That was one of my favorite treats, a favorite snack. When you get hungry playing outside, you run home, you beg mom for three kopecks, then you run to the closest grocery store and you buy this bulachka, uh, which is like a little French bread, and the price was only three kopecks. And uh, me as a kid and other kids, all I remember, that was the name of it. That's how we named it. It was a three kopeck bulachka. That's how we call it. That was its name. And one time I remember one kid... I uh, came outside and he asked us, hey guys, how much is that three kopeck bulishka? And we had a good laugh out of it because he, that's what he said. He named the price. How much was the three kopeck bulishka? Number eight, graphite pencil made by Czech company Kohinoor. Now that company is a really old company from Czechoslovakia, which was started uh, in 1800s by Austrian businessman and that pencil uh, those pencils were considered one of the best pencils on the market uh, especially for people who use it for professionally for drawings or uh, for construction drawings so that pencil the good one was a price was a three copics and the Kohinoor is uh, the name of the famous diamond that that company incorporated so this is the things that you could purchase in Soviet Union for three kopecks. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. Goodbye. До свидания.